Oh, Tesla, thank you so much. Hi traders, welcome to my day trading recap. First trade I'm going to discuss today is my RKT trade. Started down more than 10%, now it's down 7% because it moved up, but I'm about to short it because I think it's failing to move higher. And why do I think so? Here we go, shorting here. I think so because when a stock is starting with a very big gap down, you expect a failure to move higher. So the first sign of a failure, I shorted it. That's the whole idea of a gap and go. Now it's coming down, it's already under the lows and look what is about to happen. At that point, right over here, stock is about to get halted. Here we go. That's the halted point. Now it lasted several minutes, so I'm just um, not going to uh, show you the whole halted period. But just to explain, when the stock is get, get, getting halted, it's because it has uh, an intraday, normally a huge intraday move. And definitely you could have seen this move right now. And here we go again. It took several minutes and look at what happened. After it stopped being halted, it continued down. If you're on the right side of the stock, if you're shorting a stock that is weak, and it gets halted, then you're likely to have even, an even bigger winner. And as you can see, I'm already up like 13 or even $14,000, $16,000 right now. And I'm get, getting to the point where I believe it's a little bit too extended and I'm about to take my partial. So at that point, I have 4,000 shares. I'm covering 3,600 shares right now and I've got my partial. And again, remember about this getting halted issues. It happens a lot, but I mean, it's quite rare that you will be in a halted stock, but it does happen a lot in the market. And when it does happen, if you happen to be on the right side of the trade, meaning if you went long a stock that is moving higher and you shouldn't go short a stock that is moving higher, a weak stock, you short, a strong stock, you go long. And normally when the stock is getting halted, you should be okay when it reopens to trading. Uh, so that's all about halting uh, before we move to the next talk. If you like this video so far, we would really appreciate if you can give us a thumb up and it really helps our channel. It helps more people like you enjoy day trading. We will really appreciate it. Now let's move to the next trades. Second trade we're going to talk about today is Tesla. I believe Tesla is going to fail. It looks to you like Tesla is moving higher. Well, it does, of course, but I expect it to fail. The reason why I expect it to fail is because it had a huge downside day yesterday. And in my opinion, it's just a small pullback of what happened yesterday. So I'm about to short right here 4,000 shares, clicking the button right now and short 4,000 shares, expecting it to move under the lows. Now, the same happened to the market. The S&P and the Nasdaq came down very strong yesterday. And in my opinion, since they started down today, they're likely just to move slightly higher and then come down after closing the gap. And that's exactly, in my opinion, what is about to happen to Tesla too. Now, the first few minutes of uh, the trade uh, life in a day, I mean, Tesla's life today, uh, could be a move higher. And don't don't usually don't expect it to continue the first few minutes even the first 10 minutes you have a lot of open orders coming uh, from yesterday so the fact that it moved higher at the beginning doesn't usually mean much so now tesla is failing and moving under the lows i'm already up like uh, fifteen thousand dollars you can see i'm about to take my partial uh, clicking right now taking my partial that was a beautiful four or five points down which was exactly as my stop one-to-one -one risk reward now take a look at the S&P and the Nasdaq first look at the S&P the S&P moved up closed the gap the small red candle you're seeing now is likely to pull it down under the lows now the reason for that is because if you take a look at the Nasdaq you see that the Nasdaq already moved down under the lows Nasdaq did move up closed the gap or was very very close to that and then turned and moved under the lows when you have a big down day what the Nasdaq for example yesterday usually you will have a continuation and later we're going to take a look at the daily of the Nasdaq so we can understand this a little bit uh, further but I did expect the market to fail today that's why I expect the Tesla to fail today and it also has to do with Tesla's daily we're going to talk about it a little bit later now let's continue through the rest of my trades and here's my second Tesla trade. Now, first, take a look at the market. You can see that the market did come down under the lows and does continue the downtrend. Now, let's go back to Tesla. 
what's happening in Tesla? You remember my first trade was right over there. But then Tesla made a huge upside move and of course I had to close the last 400 shares that I had in Tesla and it just did not continue down as I expected. But look at what's happening right now. It made a huge upside move. Usually when you see this V-shaped formation, it's very, very likely for the stock to continue coming down. And not that, that it only has a V-shaped formation, it's also creating a kind of a head and shoulder formation. You see, that's the right uh, shoulder, that's the hand over here, and that's the left shoulder over there. So if you're looking at this technical formation, it really looks amazingly well. So I'm asking my trading room members, what do they think? Should I short it under 684, 66%, 67%, 70 71%, 73% of our traders? thought I should be shorting it under 684. So really, I'm getting ready to short it under 684. Why did I ask them? The reason for that is that uh, first, you know, we're trading together and we like to share our ideas together, but uh, uh, it's usually uh, quite comforting to have uh, uh, the opinion of many other traders as well. So I'm about to short it under 684. Watch the buyers here. Now just, just came down, shorted it 4,000 shares. And let me go a little bit back to that as I fast forward what happened to Tesla. And as you can see, the breakdown is just about to happen, happening now. So, you know, when I have a first trade, a successful trade, as I did have in Tesla, I'm very much concerned about my second trade. That's because I probably feel a little bit invincible. I feel like I already know Tesla, which is usually a, a big no-no. You're not supposed to take a second trade in stock once you already had a perfectly good first trade. The reason for that, you're mentally not capable of differentiating between a good trade and a normal or even a bad trade because you feel like you're invincible. You feel like you know the stock. You feel like you know what's about to happen. So I was kind of sitting on my hands saying, well, if these guys are going to tell me that I'm wrong, that it looks really great, they will support my opinion, that yes, I'll join. And look at this beautiful uh, crash right here. And I'm about to take my partial $20,000, click that button, took my second amazing trade in Tesla uh, short. So again, I was looking for some kind of support because if, if you just do the second or even the third trade in a stock that you succeeded in the first trade, you're very likely to fail in the second trade. Now think about it. If you're trading actively, how many times did it happen to you that you took your second trade in the stock, the same stock you traded earlier and a perfectly good green day just turned to be a miserable red day? I have to say, based on my experience, it happened to me a lot when I started trading. Did it happen to you too? If it did, please write it down down here at the comments because I think a lot of people can enjoy or understand a little bit more about your experience, not only mine. And you know, again, you're not really, uh, you don't really realize that, but you do feel like you're invincible. You do feel like you can take the second trade. You already kind of know the stock. You believe that you know where it's going. Sometimes you're right. Most of the time you're wrong. I needed the support of my trading room members today. And when 73% of them told me, yes, you should go short, I clicked the button. I knew that it was not only my idea of a good technical formation. Now, of course, look at the result. It's an amazing technical formation. <laughs> now, let's take a look at uh, the daily of Tesla as well. Before we move to the daily, here's my results. As you can see here, $53,917. And that's a work of less than an hour. I, I had two fantastic trades in Tesla, as you can see here, my biggest winner. And um, I did have uh, some more trades I did not mention beyond and uh, Fubo, but uh, a perfectly good trade. Now, let's take a look at the daily of the Nasdaq because I think a big crash is about to come. It looks like it. Take a look at uh, the way the Nasdaq just behaved. Yesterday, we had a big down day. Uh, the day before that, a big upside day. But look at this line over here. That's a huge support line. And we're building a very interesting head and shoulder formation, actually long than a head and shoulder formation. If we're going to come down under 311 in the QQQ, I think we're up to a very interesting uh, crash. So I, I thought it's going to start today. It started today. That's why I showed the Tesla. Now take a look at Tesla's daily. You see what, what is happening in Tesla is recently it came down. It had two days trying to move higher right over here, but then it failed and 
and, and continue the downtrend and uh, pull back up a little bit uh, in the past few days. But then yesterday, it had a very strong engulfing day. As you can see the red, the red day over here after a very green day right over there. And today is the day where it starts to come down again. So normally the trend should continue. Tesla should continue to come down with the trend. That's why I shorted it today. I was expecting it to fail. It was my pre-market pick. I posted it pre-market time in my trading room. And, th and thank you for following traders. Thank you for taking a look at that. Here's the result of what happened today in Tesla. My two trades worked out perfectly uh, well. So if you enjoyed this video, we would really appreciate if you give us a thumb up. And if you want to see more day trading videos like this, you can subscribe and you can also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And there's plenty of free links right here below where you can join us for free trading room access and uh, much more than that so you can uh, trade with us uh, you can uh, uh, be in our live trading room we would really appreciate if you join us for a free trial so thank you very much for joining uh, stay green uh, stay healthy and i'll see you in my next days